Hi. Today I wanted to talk to you about why we do what we do when we work on ourselves. What does it mean? What's the end game? Why do we bother working our past traumas? Why do we bother working our way through issues that we have with ourselves, with other people, with the world at large? What's the end game? Is the end game to be a better person? Great. That's a good goal to have. But is it something else? Do we want to just be happy or content or joyful? Well, all of these sound beautiful, but all of them are simply emotions to be happy, to be joyful, to be content. Just like any other feeling that we have, it is transient, just like pain or grief or anger or sadness. So what is it that we're really reaching out to do? What we need more than anything else as we work on these aspects of ourselves that need fixing, not that, that you're broken, but that need some adjustment, the word that comes to mind is alignment. What we want is alignment in our life. So what does that mean? To be aligned first with yourself is to be awake and aware of when childhood wounding or past trauma is coming up in your life, whether that's in an interaction with another human being or something going on in the world that triggers you, that awakens the old trauma and the old patterns get set into play and into motion. And so when we do the work that we do, we recognize that trauma, we speak lovingly and kindly to that little child within us who was wounded, and we take our highest self, our adult self, the centered self, and we manage that moment of trauma that we know will pass like every other emotion. So that's one part of it, is to be in alignment with yourself and you can do the meditation that I've talked about in previous episodes, the self-alignment meditation, where you sit with what feeling you're feeling. You don't judge it. You just allow it to be. That helps you to get in control of that emotion. But there's another kind of alignment, too, and that is our alignment with the rest of the world. We do not live in a vacuum. So for all the talking that I do about self-work and self-development, it's not that it stops there. That's where it begins. When you are in alignment with yourself, you then take this beautiful being out into the universe, out into the world around you, and share the beauty of that being with the rest of the world. You are teaching by example. Not on purpose, but just by being your true self. So when you are aligned, you take alignment out into the world with you. So in that way, we are aligned with everything and everyone around us as well. So think of it as this huge tapestry, all of humanity, or even all of life itself, but let's just deal with humanity, as a huge tapestry. And each one of us is one tiny stitch in that beautiful piece of tapestry. We don't really know what the larger pattern is, of that tapestry. I mean, maybe if you've done some psychedelics, you get an idea, or you've had some really good meditation sessions, you might get an idea of what that larger tapestry looks like. But for most of us, we don't really know what the whole beauty of the tapestry looks like. But what we can be absolutely positively sure of is that all we are responsible for is our little stitch in that great tapestry. So if we allow ourselves to be the beings that we are, our highest selves, if we stay in alignment, that keeps the integrity of our little stitch in the great tapestry. That means we're not frayed, we're not faded, and the, those stitches around us, the people in our world around us, very immediately, whether it's your family, friends, partners, colleagues, that kind of thing, by our being in a state of alignment, we can necessarily perhaps influence others to do the same. And how do we do that? We do that by accepting. 
Accept where they are at this moment. Meet the people around you where they are. That's how you stay in alignment with everyone else around you. And if all of us could just be responsible for our one little stitch in the great tapestry, it will make the entire product, the entire piece of art, much more beautiful.